Good morning. Thanks very much for joining us. What is the state of the local business climate and what are the key issues we face in uh, the local business situation as we head towards fall and winter? Well, that's our focus this morning with our guest, Jim Rooney, President and CEO of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce. Jim, thanks very much for joining us. Good morning, John. I want to let our viewers know that this was pre-taped about a week ahead of time because I'm taking a little vacation time. Hard earned, I might add. Uh, but thank you very much for being here. Uh, Jim, when Boston's bid for the 2024 Summer Olympics collapsed about seven weeks ago, we heard from some quarters that this would be a black mark on the city's image as a place to do business. I was just kind of curious. In, in that time, the last seven weeks or so, have you heard a single investor, domestic or international, say that they have qualms about Boston because we wouldn't take on the cost overruns? Yeah, I, I haven't heard any of that. In fact, it seems to be um, quite rapidly dying as a topical issue. Um, the underpinnings of our economy and what constitutes the strength of, of Boston and its brand still exist. I mean, um, you look at the behavior in the life sciences and bio, for example, um, growing very fast, um, adding jobs, 10,000 new jobs. Um, so I don't think that that Olympic stumble, if that's the word, uh, has had a meaningful impact. Well, we are a hot market. There's no doubt about it. It's obvious to everyone. Uh, you go down the Seaport District, South Boston, uh, it seems like there's new buildings, new restaurants every other week. The, the cranes are there. One of the byproducts of that is the area is choked with traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, if you, people know you try to get in and out of there at a rush hour, forget it. What is the state of the game plan for easing that problem in the Seaport? And more generally, that's not the only portion of our region that appears to be struggling worse than ever with traffic. How, how bad is that problem from the point of view of the business community? Um, it's a troubling long-term problem. Uh, as we're sitting here, John, seven billion dollars worth of construction is going on in Boston. And as you say, um, the seaport district is the is the uh, focus of a lot of that um, but there's other districts as well uh, South Boston waterfront Kendall Square mm -hmm. huge Longwood medical area huge activity centers great deal of economic activity jobs and so forth that Fenway corridor along Fenway Wilson corridor Street is, yeah. is just thriving um, so when you think about that and you think about all of the things driving our economy, business expansion and so forth, one of the biggest worrisome things is people's ability to get in and out of their workplace, uh, either on highway or in transit, um, but also the, the delivery of, of goods. Um, there was a report released just last week about Boston being the sixth worst congested city in the nation. Um, so when you combine the T problems with the uh, highway congestion issues, it does speak to some of the worrisome long-term future problems. We've got to take a break in a moment, but just briefly, do you feel like the Baker administration has been making the right moves? Uh, the early right moves. Um, Long-term, um, Governor Baker's a very smart man. He knows that at some point revenue is going to be applied to this problem. Uh, however, he needs to earn the trust and confidence of the taxpayer in order to start thinking about that. Uh, start thinking about more about expenditures. Revenue, yes. Yeah. All right. We'll take. Thank you, Jim. We'll take a quick break and we'll continue our conversation with the CEO and President of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce in a moment. So, please stay with us. Welcome back. We're talking about the business and economic health of our region with the head of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce, Jim Rooney. And Jim, we were talking about transportation before the break. There's been a lot of talk lately about the North-South Rail Link, extending the train lines from South Station to North Station, filling that gap. It's been uh, an issue for as long as I've been around uh, covering politics here in Boston, well over a century. Uh, okay, I'm only slightly exaggerated uh, that. Uh, it's also got a huge price tag attached to it. What's your take on it? Is that a good idea? Well, of course it's a good idea, but there's probably 10, 12 other good ideas that would cost a lot of money. Um, so in an unconstrained fiscal conversation, uh, of course it's a good idea, but the question is, uh, matched up against other priorities within transportation and within government, um, where does it fit? How does it compete? Um, I don't know if the benefits of that particular project will uh, or can win out, 
Um, but when you look at the travel patterns of people, connecting South Station and North Station seems like a no-brainer. But it, as you say, it comes with a heavy price tag. Well, speaking of heavy price tags, we just heard about uh, how the extension of the Green Line has now estimated the costs have ballooned over a billion more than originally uh, talked about. And I, I, I noted with interest some talk about having businesses along the extension contribute to defraying part of that cost. How, does, how do you in the chamber feel about the notion of business that, as you point out, relies heavily on easing congestion, better transportation, ponying up to help pay for it? Well, the, the notion of um, what has been called value capture, which is um, that by the introduction of a transit line or, or some form of infrastructure, the business community around it will benefit is, is an old um, is an old suggestion one that people have never found a good way to implement um, the business community and the and people who are surrounding the corridor view it as the job of business through which our other taxes are already paying for the government to do those things um, so it's a different it's a legitimate conversation, but a difficult concept to implement. I mean, if the public rebels against the prospect of more taxation, yeah. there aren't too many other places to turn. Yeah, for the, um, for the economy to grow yeah. and for um, the T to get into a state of good repair, it's going to take a lot of money. But as I said earlier, the governor's approach is to say, look, I've got some management issues, some cultural issues within my transportation system that I need to fix. I'm going to fix those and I'm going to earn the trust of the people in the Commonwealth before we talking about, start talking about revenue. Well, listen, I'm glad you came by this morning. i uh, look forward to having you come back a couple times during the year and update us on what the business community is thinking. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Appreciate it. Jim Rooney, CEO and President of the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce. That's all for me. I now return you to my colleagues for more WBZ News.